Hi, I'm Deb Cassidy with um, FSU Center for Autism and Related Disabilities, otherwise known as the CARD Center. Um, we have to have endorsements when we do our PowerPoint, so just uh, I'm going to go through these quickly. All right, so what is CARD? So we um, are a free program, a grant program actually through the state of Florida. We have been in 30 plus years. Um, we provide free services. We, have, we actually have seven um, centers and they're all funneled through um, universities throughout our state. We are unique to the state of Florida. This is the only program in our country that provides free services like this for our individuals and families with autism. So we are a train the trainer mod model. So basically um, we don't do therapy, we're more of a consultation. So when I go in to t work with teachers or families, I wanna teach you everything I know because I need to build capacity. Because right now in Okaloosa and Walton County, the counties that I serve, I have about 900 clients <laughs> for one person. So um, I want to teach you how everything that I, that know so that I can build capacity and then we can um, you know just keep building and building and building our knowledge. Um, so who do we serve? So we <clears throat> serve the lifespan. Um, my youngest right now I'm working with is 18 months so baby and then my oldest active client right now is in his 50s. So we have all all ages. I help um, people that are in college. I help families so it's it's the entire spectrum. So our kids never age out is what we, you know, some um, agencies, if you have, you're in a family, like they age out of early steps or they age out of, um, um, I was trying to think the one before early steps, can't remember the name of it. Um, sorry, um, but they will age out, but we don't age out. So we, are, we serve the lifespan, so we stay with our family. So like one little guy I'm working with right now is in middle school, I met him in preschool. You know, so I've, I've become friends and build relationships with my, with my families and try to support you throughout your, um, your journey together. We do, as far as becoming a client, if you have a diagnosis of autism, obviously you are in, you know, but if you don't have a diagnosis and you have red flags up until the age of nine, you can be a client of ours, okay? We will help you um, get resources for, uh, diagnosing because we know sometimes it takes a year to get a diagnosis correct uh, if you have an eligibility within the school you can be as of having autism and, and don't have a medical diagnosis you can be a client so we will take a, the front cover sheet of the IEP that checks autism spectrum disorder or you ha can have a medical diagnosis and become our client. But we do help families up to age nine. As a matter of fact, I just got 33 new clients from Southside pre Preschool. Uh, it's about two weeks ago because those kids are under the age of nine and they have red flags for autism. So we're able to take them in and, and help those families figure out the resources that they need. Oops, I did the wrong one, sorry. Sorry. All right. Um, <clears throat> so what do I do? I go into schools, I go to families, homes, um, I go in the community, I have been to gymnastics, I have been to soccer practice, I go to churches. Wherever my kids are, I can go. I can go offer support and strategies for, um, for that child and for their family. Oh, that's fancy. Um, so how can CARD help? Okay. So we, um, one thing I put on here is, why haven't I heard from my card consultant? I haven't heard from her like, she ghosted me. I've heard that before. I'm not ghosting you. Remember how many clients I have? Almost 900. I need you to reach out to me. So if you have a problem, if you have, like the family I'm working with now, I just talked to the dad yesterday, the one that I was telling you about from preschool. Um, he reaches out to me when he needs me, just like you would a doctor's office. So if something's going on, I need you to call me and I'm happy to help. But if I don't hear from you, I'm thinking everything's great. Okay, I don't know any difference. So I really need you to reach out to me and say, Deb, and I have a cell phone, so you can text me, you can call me, uh, you can email me. So there's ways to get in touch with me. So please do that and never think that card is ghosting you. <clears throat> All right, so what are some things we do? Um, so we help with 
developing behavior intervention plans with the school team if we need to. I go into uh, classrooms that I observe uh, and offer strategies to the team, to the to the teacher, to the SLP, whomever needs it, I can offer strategies. If I can't do it, so for instance, I'm working with a family in Walton County, we need help with assistive technology. I'm calling in another consultant um, uh, from another area with CARD because she has more knowledge with the, tech, with the AAC devices than I do. So we work together as a team and we um, provide services that way. Um, we can make visual supports for you. If I come in and, and make a suggestion, say, you need a visual schedule or your child needs this, that, or the other, and it's something that has to be created, that's what CARD does. We make it for you, and I will teach you how to use that. Uh, I can also work with teachers in the same thing. I've model teach, model taught. I've actually taught a classroom all day long, many times, just to model teach some of our new model teach for some of our new teachers that are um, coming in. So that is something that I can do and I love to do it. I was a classroom teacher before I started doing this. <clears throat> if you want me to help in your classroom or you want um, us to assist that, all you, you can go on our website. There's a form. It says a school agency form and you fill that out. It's a little, it takes you less than a minute and it puts it on my radar that you need help in the school or that you want help for your, um, your class in your classroom, uh, your son or daughter's classroom teacher or a teacher can fill that out as well and, and ask for that. So we provide free trainings for anybody. So uh, we do them for parents, we do them for teachers, we do, again, soccer, wherever. I do, I do a lot of churches, actually, um, because people are trying to start special needs programs, so I do a lot of those recently. So we can provide those, and again, how do you get access to that? You go to our website under forms, it says trainings, you fill out the training form that you want a training from us, okay, and we'll get you on the schedule. Sorry, I didn't know about this transition. <laughs> Um, and so we also have a Linden library, which is super cool. So it's online. So if you, if there's a book or something you're interested in, you want to learn more information, if you are a client of ours, reach out. We'll get you access to the Linden library. You can check it out, I think, up to three months. And then if you need to recheck it out, you can recheck it out. So we have a, a whole host of books for our teachers and families. We also... Um, help businesses, so autism friendly businesses. We have a whole program where we go in and we can train the business, we train the employees, and we do follow up. And then you're recognized on our website and in your business as an autism friendly business. So we're trying to do more and more of these. Um, if you don't know, Tampa has become like the autism friendly city. So they did a, uh, the card program down there years ago, started this whole initiative and they're the autism friendly city, which is super cool. And then we do public awareness events like what we're doing today so that we can get out information and resources to our families and uh, to our teachers and schools. Does anybody have any questions for me? Yes, ma'am. Do you work with families that have dyslexia? No. Um, she asked if we can work with families that have dyslexia. No. But one thing we do, one type of family we work with that people don't realize um, is if, if a student has a hearing or a vision impairment plus a disability, like a learning disability, we can work with that type of student. So most people don't realize that. That's the, kind of the related disabilities part, you know. Uh, but typically it has to be autism. Some of my kids have PD, NOS because that was a, you know, they're older now, they're, you know, adults, and that's not a diagnosis anymore recognized by DSM-5, but we still recognize that because we know that that was once a diagnosis of people with autism. Yes, so that's, um, so I know they just signed up for cards. That is one thing that we would discuss and that we could help walk you through the process of guardianship. Yes, and that's the cool part about having someone like us involved because we can help, I mean, like, I have preschoolers that are now adults and I've had to help their parents walk through the guardianship yeah, process. All right, thanks Tommy for having me.